Hello to all my dear students. So in the previous class we were doing the poem from section 3 The Way Through the Woods and the name of the poet is Rudrat Kipling. So we have seen what happened in the poem. Yes or no? The poet written after 70 years and he have seen lot of changes. So today we will continue with the same poem page number 57. See, look at the poem. Where the water whistle his mat, they fear not man in the woods, because they see so few. So here, water. Have you seen water word? Species of wild animal found in the woods. So before what happened? Even his mat, even the poet friends, they never whistle in the woods, because they were so much afraid, because species of wild animals they are found in the woods for that reason they never whistle all some of you have the habit of uh, whistling yes or no when you are walking alone or walking with your friends that way so here he, this uh, poet friends also his habit is have uh, to whistle but he never used to whistle when he used to go to the woods because uh, they were afraid Be, the wild animal may listen to them they may hear them and they may come and attack because they see so few because there are no man no people so few people you will hear the beat of a horse's feet and the switch of a skirt in the dew steadily cantering through here cantering means riding a horse at a fairly quick speed not quite a gallop so you will hear the beat of horse feet okay riding a horse at a fairly quick speed and you can hear the quite a gallop so much speed that you cannot hear the sound also the horse sound what sound is to make trot 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 that way yes or no so same thing and the switch of a skirt in the dew steadily cantering true that means switch of a skirt dew in the dew that means when you're walking uh, your fr uh, frog or skirt is to move yes and like wind in the dew so so first like a horse tidy the misty solitude as though they nap they perfectly i know the old lost road through the woods but there is no road through the woods so here the misty solitude I am thinking of the memory before 70 years what it was and today what it is. The poet is thinking he is standing. He is not sharing his thought to anyone but he is standing, simply standing there and he was he was imagining that thing what happened before. As though they perfectly knew the old road was lost in the wood. There is no road and there is no woods. Now already it turned into city, big cities and towns and all. Nothing is there. So the misty solitude only I could remember the thing. Okay, the poet is feeling so much upset because there were woods, jungle, so many uh, trees were there, so many kinds of animals, species of animals are found, were found there before. But now what happened? That woods turned into city and that jungle turned into cities and in that cities so many tall buildings, factories were constructed yes or no so he was the spoiled was simply thinking and standing and thinking what happened to it and how it was see the difference how it was before 70 years and see what happened after 70 years so the poet is only the poet no because he it was his place it was his area so only he knew that there was a woods and only he knew that so many kind of species of animals were found there so now he was thinking what to do because he could not see the woods, he is missing his place before 70 years how it was. Okay, so I hope you are clear enough with the poem, the way through the woods. So, please go through the poem. Not only the poem, please go through the, uh, about the writer also, Rudrat Kipling. Okay, so uh, when he was born and where he was born, you have to know. And which are the famous novels he have written. Okay, so go through that. And please read the whole poem and try to memorize also. So, today we will end our class here. Thank you.